Long after the blood people on earth made a plan, we will build a great city with a tower right up to the heavens. They said, let's live together always. Everyone spoke the same language. God wanted people to live all across the world. He had made, so he did something special. Suddenly groups of people spoke different, differently. God gave them new languages. Those who speak the same language moved away together. Perhaps people became afraid of others they could not understand. In this way, God caused people to fill different countries. The city they left was called Babel, which means confusion. Years later, in a place called Ur of the Chaldees, God spoke to a man named Abra Abram. Leave this land, God commanded. Go to the land I will show you. Abram obeyed. God led him to Canaan. His wife, Sarah, and nephew, Lot, went with him. In Canaan, both Abram and Lot became rich. They had large herds of cattle. There was not enough pasture for so many animals. Lot's herdmen quarreled with Abram's herdsmen. Let there be no trouble, Abram said. We will separate. Lot, you take it first. Choice of the land you want. Lot chose a great grassy plain dotted with cities and villages. It took, it looked good, but the cities were very wicked places. After Lot left, God spoke again to Abraham. I gave, I give all the land of Canaan to you and your children forever. Abraham and Sarah had no children. How could God keep his great promise? Three men from God came to Abraham and Sarah. You'll have a baby soon, they said. Sarah laughed. She did not believe God's message. She was 90 years old. God told Abraham he would now be called Abraham, father of many. Abraham, father of many. And Sarah would be Sarah, princess. God also told Abraham he would destroy the two wicked cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham's nephew, Lot, lived in Sodom with his family. God believed God's warning when it came, but his daughter's husbands refused to leave Sodom. How tragic. They didn't believe God's word. Only Lot and his two daughters made it to safety. Fire and brimstone fell upon the wicked cities. Sadly, Lot's wife disobeyed God's warning and looked back as she ran. She turned into a pillar of salt. The Lord kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah. They had a child in their old age, just as God had said how they rejoiced when Isaac was born. Perhaps Abraham also thought about God's promise to give him and his children the land of Canaan forever. God will keep that promise too. God always keeps his promises. God's promise to Abraham, a story from God's word, the Bible. <coughs> the Bible is found in Genesis 11 to 21. The entrance of your words gives light. Psalm 119, 130. This Bible story tells us about our wonderful God who made us and who wants us to know him. God knows we have done bad things, which he calls sin. The punishment for sin is death, but God loves us so much, 
he sent his son Jesus to die on a cross and be punished for our sins. Then Jesus came back to life and went home to heaven. If you believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive your sins, he will do it. He will come and live in you now, and you will live with him forever. If you want to turn from your sins, say this to God. Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and now lives again. Please come into my life and forgive my sins so that I can have a new life now and one day go to be with you forever. Help me to live for you as your child. Amen. Read the Bible and talk with God every day. John 3.16
If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter.
But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom I must tell Jesus all of my trials I cannot bear these burdens alone In my distress He kindly will help me He ever loves and cares for His own I must tell Jesus I must tell Jesus I cannot bear my burdens alone I must tell Jesus I must tell Jesus Jesus can help me Jesus alone I must tell Jesus all of my troubles He is a kind, compassionate friend If I but ask Him He will deliver Make of my troubles Quickly an end I must tell Jesus I must tell Jesus I cannot bear my burdens alone I must tell Jesus I must tell Jesus Jesus can help me Jesus alone Jesus alone
I heed not nor man's empty praise Thou mine inheritance now and always Thou and Thou only, O first in my heart High King of Heaven, my treasure Thou art Joy